Welcome back to another B to the 7 Quick Bits. Today I want to jump into how you can boost engagement with your audience customers with email marketing. Now remember, these are customers that raised their hand and said, yes, I want to hear from you. They gave you data. They give you insights. You've got history on them. You have the ability to target, to segment, and to really provide value and content. Hopefully you are listening to your consumers and audiences and understanding what it is that they want. With email marketing, you have that ability to be targeted, segmented, and to deliver content exactly the way that they want it, to be more personalized, to be more dynamic. And there are so many ways that you can improve and boost that engagement with email marketing. What I want to do today is share a little bit more about that and get into I want to say roughly seven, eight different um, varieties of ways that you can help boost that, that engagement that brands are currently using today. Okay, let's get into it. What are some of the ways brands are boosting engagement? Think about targeted recommendations. You have purchased something or you have something in your cart. It happens all the time with Amazon. They are always recommending products based off of what your behavior is. Personalize the content based on who you are, so you know who this consumer is, you know what their history is, you kind of know what they've ordered if you got the order history, and now you can start dynamically populating these emails with content that is more personalized to what, what it is that they want. Provide value and build that loyalty customer. And you know, this gets back into a video I did um, a couple days ago around loyalty programs. And you know, loyalty programs and email go hand in hand because you have that ability to pull and look at the data and then deliver content that is relevant for that consumer. Automated series, email automated series is another one that is perfect for this. So think about a welcome series. A consumer signs up for your program and this gives you the ability to now build out a six and seven series email that digs more into who your brand is, what you have to offer, and you don't have to include everything in every single email. And that's the idea behind this, to where you're slowly giving them insights into your brand, slowly introducing them and really engaging them to come back based on the content that you're providing. Another um, platform and or journey that you should be creating is the lapsed customer journeys or the drip, um, drip, drip campaigns based on if you're a new customer, an active customer, lapsing or lapsed. So you know where these consumers are within their customer journey and now you start triggering and targeting them based on what their frequency is, what their behavior is, where they are to be more really personalized and also give them exactly what they want. Another big benefit of email marketing is the ability for you to ask for feedback. You know, once a quarter, every, every few months, send out a customer survey to understand what it is that the consumer is wanting back from you. It's a great way to build, um, you know, back and forth um, communications and really long-term loyalty because now you are asking the consumer to buy, provide feedback on your brand, your services. These are, you know, just quite a few and um, ways for you to really boost that engagement and to use email marketing to boost engagement with your consumers. You know, who are some of the brands that are actually doing a good job of this? And this is solely my opinion, and these are just brands that I have, have, have engaged with over the last few months, and I see what their email communications are when they come back to me and how they're engaging me to engage back with their brand. Think about mixed tiles. There's, there, you know, that's a great one. The pictures on the wall. Zappos. Netflix, of course, Netflix, Amazon, Dollar Shave Club. I also love Amazon Music because they're constantly giving me recommendations. You know, these are just some of the brands that are using email marketing um, to really communicate back and forth with their consumers. You could also look at your social channels. Think about Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. When someone leaves a message, you know, you have communication preferences built into those platforms to where it could be an email, it could be, you know, a push notification, whatever it may be. But these are ways that brands are engaging and these are some of the brands that are doing a good job at it. So some of the action items for you, if you do have an email program and you're not seeing the success that you think you should be seeing, the engagement, you know, look at these type programs. How can you institute some of these? How can you get some of these customer journeys into play? It's very important for you to, you know, not send that one brand message for everyone, but also look at the ability for you to be more personalized, to be more targeted. And these are ways that I can definitely help you in, with your programs. I've got many years of experience at Papa John's from I think 2005 to 2018 I ran 
the Papa John's email programs. You know, I, we've set the strategy. We did customer journeys. We did welcome series. We knew and used the data to be a lot more relevant. These are things that I can do to help with your brand as well. You know, any insights, any thoughts, anything that you need to see. You know, and it also starts off with the provider that you need, the MarTech. These are all things that I can help you, you and your brand out with if needed. Let's connect on LinkedIn. I'll put the link below. Um, check out my website, b2the7.com. This is where, you know, I help brands increase their revenues, um, optimize their marketing, and really help with their digital and social. So it's b2the7.com. Everyone have a great day, and we will talk again later.